The boiler dorm was built in 1949. Right in front of us is the boiler. Uh, they'll use that in case they need to shut down the locomotive, cool it down. They'll go ahead and fire up the boiler, uh, hook it up to some pipes and bring the steam pressure on the locomotive back up slowly, and then fire it off. Uh, in the background you hear the electrical generator. Uh, that provides electricity for the rail cars on the train. And then also we've got an area where the crews can sleep if they need to. There's two or three bedrooms back here, and it gives them a place to rest if they have to work on the locomotive through the night. Getting a train ready for 800 passengers is no easy task, and I tell you what, the uh, catering crew that works this uh, preparation is, is long and hard, and they work long and hard hours to get the train not only ready to go, but uh, making sure that all day on Saturday there's plenty of food and water for everyone on the train. Uh, when this train started in 1908, it was to uh, help relations between Colorado and Wyoming. And I think it still does that. You know, we get 700 people up at the rodeo, and it's a great day of fun, and it links the two cities uh, just as it did when it started 100 years ago. Nice steady stream today of visitors in Denver at uh, Union Station. Uh, the train's all ready to go, uh, putting the finishing touches on getting everything ready inside the cars. And uh, tomorrow, bright and early at 7 o'clock, we'll be headed to Cheyenne for Frontier Days.